Knicks were just waiting for March. They're 6-2 and two this month. They had just five wins in all of February. And Kyrie Irving has led the Celtics in assist in seven of their last eight games all this month. How dangerous are the Celtics when it's Kyrie Irving not just scoring like a monster, but distributing the best we've ever seen him in his career? Yeah, he's assisting that amazing clip. You, I think assists went up, and they're staying in the range of 7 to 12 per game, you know, somewhere in between. And I feel like the healing really started on the road trip. You know, you take that trip out west, you get away from home, and that camaraderie is built. Jason Tatum birthday, those guys sit down, they celebrate the young fella finally being 21 years old. They go in, get a quality win versus the defending champs, and they really sweep through the Western Conference on that West Coast swing. And then they, they tapped into something. The foundation what made them all so special. And now they're just having fun playing. You see Kyrie over there. He apologized for the, the, the moodiness that he had mm -hmm. during that stretch. Showed a ton of growth. And it's just amazing to see that. You talk about the phrase tapped in. They tapped into finally believing in one another. Kyrie, I'm 21 now. We did this last year without you. Mm. We need you. We want you, but we want you to be the type of leader we know you can be to your question. Now he's assisting. Now he's back scoring. Mm. Guess what, Kyrie? We believe in you as a champion again. And I think sometimes we forget as a young team, you get all that success. I thought it was a great point. We use Denver. Yeah. If you don't know sometimes, you just go out there and play, things happen. It reminds me of the young team in Orlando in 94. We went so far. We didn't know no better. We didn't have that experience yet. So you bring up a great point. But this team had to believe in who they were, what they did last year, and you bring back two all-stars that have done it at a very high level. And, of course, Gordon Hay was not back there yet. So imagine him getting back to form. Ooh. Now Kyrie's showing you with his leadership and scoring and passing. He's back to form. And now when the playoffs kick, they've already proven to your point once again, they can go on the road and win in your building. And when you have that type of confidence and the playoff kicks in, now put pressure back on Brad Stevens. We say he's a great coach. Hey, coach, now all your talent is playing to their ability. Now can you orchestrate and push the right buttons? Playoffs, talking my language, because it was just two weeks ago we yeah. looked at the Celtics like, there okay, they're nestled into that fifth spot. But, whoa, look now, just mm. a game and a half behind the Pacers and the 76ers and moving up to possibly that third spot in the East. So can they realistically Five catch games. those two teams and get home court advantage games, in the postseason? So the catch, oh no, I'm sorry, yeah, three games, I'm sorry. Three games, that's possible. I mean, anything possible. Is possible, but you, a, a, lot, a lot of things bad have to happen for the Pacers, and I think with Nate McMillan at the helm, I just don't think that they're going to be trending in the, the, the wrong direction. I think they're gearing up to play their best basketball going down the stretch also. And, you know, the Boston Celtics are playing extremely well also. Who knows how long Gordon Hayward's going to be down with that you know, you know, they're going to be super careful on the way that they bring him back from that situation. I don't know if it was just a neck strain or whatever the case may be, but you want him to be available for the second part of the season, which is the playoffs. Sometimes it's easy to overlook a guy who's a glue guy on a team, but Aaron Baines defensively for the Celtics really seems to provide a difference for them when he's in the lineup. Is he someone that we overlook when talking about the Celtics because it's easy to look at Kyrie and the things that he brings to the table? I don't think we overlook it. I know opposing teams don't overlook it because to your point, he rebounds. And since the theme of the night we started the show with setting screens, he's one of the best five in our game that sets screens because – it gets the dribbler wide open to come down here and create an attack the defense. So his intangibles for the Celtics are definitely needed. They need him 100% when the playoffs get here. Him and Adams do a remarkable job of sacrificing one, yep. their body uh, to get Russell Westbrook open, Paul George open, and you see the same thing with Baines. And also, on the opposing end, they're not so much of a liability. They're mm -hmm. able to move their shooting feet. shooting threes and, now. Yeah, they, they cover coverages extremely well, so it's amazing to see that also. Yeah, it's interesting to see a lineup with Marcus Morris, Aaron Baines, and then also Al Horford, those three guys in the, you know, in the forward slots, in the center slot, because normally they play small ball with like Jalen Brown and Gordon Hayward. So it's interesting to see Brad Stevens as they approach the postseason tinkering with his lineups. Yeah, look, it's all about adjustments. You know, it, it really is. And, you know, he, he had to do so much last season, specifically with young guys, and now – you have more of a stable group of you got Al Horford, you got Baines back, you got a little experience with Tatum and Brown and Smart with those guys getting all the way to the Eastern Conference Finals. Now it's just a matter of making sure that you make the seamless transition with Kyrie 
going into the playoffs where he's the ultimate closer for you guys? Well, the Los Angeles